Right, in this video, I'm gonna be showing you how to connect your Google Drive account to your monday.com account. So when a new project is started or a new project is created, it's gonna automatically create a new folder in your Google Drive get the link to that folder, this is the crucial bit, and then add that link to your monday.com system for that particular item, so then you can easily go to that particular folder for that client on that project. The business use case, in my opinion, is quite obvious. This is something that has infuriated me in the past, um, and that's why I think this could be a good video. Um, you no longer have to rely on someone else to create the folder, someone's gonna forget, they put it in the wrong place. It's all automated, all happens automatically, and then getting access to the place that you need to go for that particular project again very easy because the 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 link is actually just going to be available on that particular project item in your monday.com system so you can just click it and go straight over so with all that said and done let's get to the setup um, by the way, you're going to need Zapier for this setup. If you're not familiar with Zapier, it is the Swiss Army knife of businesses. Check out the link below. Uh, there'll probably be a link below to the Zapier. Like I don't have any affiliation with them yet, working on it. Um, but if you want to sign up to it, click the link below. Um, so as you can see, I'm in my monday.com system. Now I've got this project documents here. Now I suspect this is actually going to be the wrong column type. So I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a column to the right. I'm going to create a link column. Um, so if you haven't done this already, just go ahead and do this. We firstly need to go ahead and create a link column. I'm going to call this project documents. There we go. And I'm just going to delete the old one. Not really necessary. Um, or you could have both if you wanted to, but I would prefer to store all of my documents in one place and that obviously be my Google Drive folder. So what, like I said at the start, what I want to happen is a new link to the Google Drive folder that is exclusive for this particular project to automatically populate, save me and my team tons of time. And I know exactly where to store all of my information and access it when I need it. So like I said, you need Zapier. What I'm gonna do is go to my Zapier system up the top here and I'm gonna to go to create in the top right hand corner and hit a new zap, okay? Um, you can do this wherever you want. So now we need to define the trigger. So the trigger is obviously gonna be monday.com and I'm gonna keep this one pretty simple. So monday.com is our trigger and then we need to define our trigger event. Um, so I think item created, let's just keep it really easy. So when a new item is created and then we just select the account that we want to associate with. So make sure you've got your monday.com account associated. If you don't know how to do that, check out the video links above. It's very straightforward, quick video on how to set up your monday.com system or connect your monday system to Zapier. Awesome. So now we have monday.com connected to Zapier. What we want to do next is go ahead and press continue and then select the board ID that we would like to use. So in this instance, it's gonna be service one. And then I'm gonna go ahead, press continue, and then we can test our trigger as well if we need to. So I'm gonna pull some data across. Not that it's actually particularly useful in this instance, um, but I'll just pull it across for the sake of it. So we tested it, and then we're gonna continue with the selected record. Now we need to go ahead and create an action, and that action is gonna be Google Drive. <laughs> okay, there we go. So I'm just going to search for Google Drive. You can see that the option pops up. Just going to select that. I suspect we're not going to need a filter, to be honest with you. Like, you, you could filter this or fork this or path this is the technical term in Zapier, dependent on the service type. So if you have, let's say, one service type and you want that to go in that folder and then a different service type to go in that folder, you could do it this way. Um, I'm just gonna keep it simple. When an item is created, anytime a new item is added to our project board, I want a new folder. So we're gonna go action event in the top right hand corner and we're gonna scroll down, we're gonna find create folder, really, really easy. Go ahead and hit continue and then we need to select the drive that we're adding it to. So we've got a few different drives. I'm gonna add it to my CRM crew network drive. So we then need to select the parent folder. So as you can see, I've got a few different options. I've created a system demo folder for the sake of this video. Now you can click into this, However, what you can also do is path it as well. So you can go to your top folder if you want to. If I clear the selection and just show you again, you can click in and then click in again. And let's say within clients, you've then got another folder and another folder. So you can path into where you would like to create your folder. It's really, really easy. So I'm just gonna select clients in the clients folder. I want to create this new folder. And then the new folder name is gonna be from the actual item. So I'm gonna press the plus button on the right hand side and I'm just gonna call this the pulse name. So essentially what I'm saying is the name of the item is gonna go ahead and be my folder name. What I might actually do is just pull the test for this information because it's slightly more exciting. So let's just go ahead and do that quickly. Uh, I suspect it'll be item name. It is indeed awesome. So I'm just gonna go ahead, press continue with selected record. Um, and again, 
in the folder name. It's going to be the post name still, but it's Nick Boardman dash Google Calendar example. That was from a separate video. If you want to check out how to integrate your Google Calendar, check out the link above. Um, go ahead and then press continue. And then all we need to do is hit test step. Okay. So now we have tested the step to and obviously that has now created a new folder in our clients you can see here if i go to crm crew clients you can see that that is now automatically created i didn't create this this was automatically populated if i click in that's got the name of the item that we just had so that's kind of step one obviously that's fantastic so now we've gone ahead and created the folder we have all of the information so it's automatically populated such as the things like the link now the link we're going to need is the alternate link this is the one that we're going to use um, and that's what we would distribute we want to push that back to our monday.com item um, and then have that in the link column so anyone can just just go straight over to um, straight over to that particular folder so that's what we're looking for is the alternate link now there's one thing that you're probably going to be aware of is like the sharing permissions so i'm just going to show you how to set that up now obviously within a google drive especially a shared drive um your sharing permissions are going to be very very different or varied um so take yeah, obviously this is going to be subject to you and bespoke to you and what you want to do but what we can do is create a new action event in google drive so we pull up the google drive app here and the action event is sharing permissions so we can actually add file sharing preferences so if i go ahead and press continue i can go ahead and select the file id now the file id is actually created when we create the folder so if i press the three dotted button on the right hand side go to custom go to uh create folder and just collect the id and then i can define the sharing preferences so this is something you'll all be familiar with anyone at your organization with the link can edit view comment blah 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 um, specify an email address share the file with so if i select that as an option i can actually add that email address so hypothetically if you wanted to extract the client email um, you could very well do that so what we would have to do in this instance is add a mirror column to the contact and then pull that information across and then we would be good to go and then we could use that email to invite the client to that particular folder and then you can obviously define their sharing role as well and this is again stuff you'll probably be used to um, i'm not going to go into <laughs> too much detail you get the idea it's all possible again if you need help with any of this automating integrating streamlining your business check out the link below we would be delighted to help but now let's get to the final piece of the puzzle and that is adding the link back into monday.com so i'm gonna hit monday.com here um, and then action event is change multiple column values okay so that's the step that we want to do press continue and then select the board id um hit service number one so that's obviously the board where the new item is created and then we need to get the item id so to do that three dotted button on the right hand side hit custom new item and then we just need the item id that actually triggered this zap in the first place so we're kind of almost looping but we're looping and adding more information back in um, and then the only thing that we need to do is the link so we've got web address and text to display so you could what i would probably do is i would go create folder i would get the alternate link uh, which you can just search at the top here so that's the one we want and it needs to go in the actual link column and then we could just on the text to display just put google drive folder um, or you can put whatever you want <laughs> it's entirely up to you um, and then just hit continue and then we're going to test the step so this information is now going to push back over to monday.com just want to make sure it's working so if we now go to service number one you can see here that project documents are available i can click into this and it's going to automatically take me to that folder that we've just created now let's take let's just test this just to make sure so i'm going to call this example project or youtube whoop demo video uh for the people well, the crew maybe that'd be cool um so hopefully what i'm waiting for is that oh wait hang on that's not going to work so i'm gonna actually publish this app i do apologize profusely let's just hit publish in the top right hand corner to start with and then i'm going to go ahead and once this is published i'm actually just going to duplicate this so hit duplicate because i'm not going to write that out again um hit duplicate and i'm waiting obviously waiting 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 um and what should happen in a moment's time it should automatically appear is the project documents link voila voila french i don't know um it's now created if i click into that google drive link you will be able to see that youtube video demo for the people uh folder has been created if i go to clients we've got the two that we've created here works perfectly and again if we needed to adjust the sharing settings um that's how you would do it in like the previous steps um so like i said automate integrate streamline your business if you need any help check out the link below we work with monday.com zapier loads of other tools as well thank you for watching goodbye